Bulavinaka, this is uh, segment one of uh, Time Spot, and our first guest today is uh, Ellen Kumar, the tournament coordinator for the Rexona Mbula Business House Futsal Cup that is uh, coming up uh, on February 27th. Uh, and uh, Ellen, I think we'll go get straight into it. First of all, thank you so much for making time. Thank you very uh, much. Just, just give, it, give us the latest on, uh, on uh, the Futsal Cup. Uh, thank you, Tali, for having us here. And always a pleasure to be at Fiji Times uh, Time Sports. And uh, to start our event, it's always a pleasure. Uh, the 2024 election are sponsored. Uh, as you know, we launched last uh, two weeks ago, thanks to the Unilever, the national brand of Rexona, with Motivai. They came on board and sponsored this event with 25,000 sponsors. Here. And uh, with the launch done, tomorrow is our pool draw, the manager's meeting. And uh, all the team are eager to know which pool they are in. And come next to Tuesday, the 27th of February, the game is set to kick off at the FMF gym from 6 p.m. And uh, the good news is that uh, Honorable Minister for Women, Children and Social Protection, Honorable Linda Tambuya, have uh, accepted an invitation to be part of the chief guest to come and open this tournament. Uh, the reason for her to be in this, uh, inviting her, is our team for the tournament is no, say no to drugs and domestic violence. We'll get to the theme later, but can you just gi give us a breakdown of the teams that will be involved? I think 46 teams? Yes, yes. Uh, 2015 we started this business house and uh, we started with 16 teams. We are very much delighted and proud to say t t this tournament has 46 teams, 40 men's teams and 6 women's teams uh, competing. And to, for 40 men's team, we have 4 teams that have entered for the very first time. And this shows that, uh, that uh, awareness created among Suba and Nasir Corridor. And uh, having 46 teams, I would say this is the biggest futsal tournament in the country. And we are very delighted with partner with uh, Rexona to bring this. Uh, it's all about uh, team bonding. It's about uh, social networking. And it's all about the sponsorship to come on board and seeing from 2015 till now what we have done. So you have six women's teams this year. Yes. I believe that's the, the largest or the biggest number you've yes. recorded so far. So far, yes. It's definitely. something exciting. It's very much exciting. Uh, the good news about the women's uh, category is that uh, all women's teams, they have registered. They don't have to pay any entry fees. It's free entry. Come, enjoy the game. Uh, spread the, uh, our team what we are getting on. Come and win a grand prize money and a Rexona Cup. And uh, that's what we are calling all the companies that uh, the teams have not registered. Come next year, uh, next tournament, please allow your women's or men's team to be part of it. So it's uh, by entry fee, you mean registration fees? Yes, there's a, uh, the men's they pay registration fee to be part of the tournament. So they pay a certain amount to come on board and be part of the tournament. Therefore, the same thing goes to women's, but it's entry fee. They don't have to pay that entry fees to be part of the registration. So what was, what was the process like, uh, you know, for you to come to the conclusion where the, the women don't have to pay for registration fees? Is uh, it to boost the... Uh, a very good question. And I always much delighted to say Bula events, the day we started women's competition, with likes of Andy Bula and other players. There are a lot of players that came and played uh, certain years ago. Uh, the day we initiated this, it was my decision as a director of Bula Events that there won't be any entry fees. As far as Bula Events Group is hosting food settlement, there won't be any entry fees for women's tournament. We will be advocating on them to be giving equal play playing field to get men's tournament and women's tournament in the same venue together, not to do separate tournament. And on top of that, you see our tournaments, futsal tournaments, there's no entry fees, so get entry fees for spectators to pay and come. So it's all free. Just to see futsal is growing in Subana Sierra Corridor and we want to be part of that development as well. Mm. And just, just jumping into the theme, uh, just tell us the backstory behind the chosen theme for this year. Yes, we, recent news, uh, you've seen a lot of about drugs, about uh, domestic violence. The drugs leads to domestic violence and children have been part of it. Uh, this has been back of my mind from last year to be this theme. And uh, this, I think this is the best platform because we're going to have more than 1,000 players and officials engaged for that 11 weeks. So that 11 weeks, we you know, use this platform to advocate through these people who are working in the office, came out of this busy time from home to work and knock off five straight to home back to that routine. We need to come to share this uh, team with them. So when they go back to office, go back to the community, go back to the house, they hear and understand what it's all about. Because domestic violence starts at home. Drugs started as a group. Once one start, two people add in, it's it start as a group. But when we come to the Bull Evans group with this tournament, it is an external sponsor, we want to see to bring the change among community. 
and I think this is the best uh, team and uh, Honorable Minister will be speaking more on that. So her speech will motivate all the players around the night and that will be what we'll be doing. And apart from his speech, in what other ways will you be promoting this team throughout the tournament? Yes, uh, Brand Rexona has come on board and through Rexona we have, uh, we're going to use this six women's team to be a brand ambassador for this uh, team and uh, all the players that have been registered through the six uh, women's team. They'll be given uh, every week. They're gonna speak on, on a topic of how to go about it and advocating on it and spreading that awareness. And I know it will bring changes, not a big change, maybe a step by step. And uh, we are happy that we are starting somewhere. And through media like Fiji Times, we coming supporting us in the times of events. And they are best platform to share this team. And apart from the two spoils right here, what, what other things can the uh, participating teams look forward to? Uh, this is a grand prize of money of, uh, total prize money of $8,250 and a special prize. Uh, so men's um, categories such as uh, all 40 teams goes in the pool and this is happening tomorrow. They win the pool or they don't qualify, for, they go to certain categories like car, plate and seal and bowl. So they can keep continuing playing and there's prize money for that. And uh, I, I think Rexona may have some prize for play of the day and uh, we're going to uh, support the women as well as much as we can to our sponsors. And I finally have to thank our sponsors for coming on board. That fate that we started in 2015 till now, they've seen the vast increase, the development, the things we have done through futsal around Subana Sur Corridor. They've thought about it and they came on board as a major sponsor, an exclusive sponsor, only Rexona. And so from this tournament, um, what do you hope to achieve you know, in order to set the standard for next year? Uh, this is a lot of uh, things we look at. Uh, first, you always uh, set a priority for women to play at the play, same play, equal playing field and uh, to get more women's team next year. We started with two, now we have six. We need to increase that number. Men's is increasing the women's team. And um, the team we're going to advocate on is well, we want to reach as much people in Fiji and be from the school level to uh, eldest people to around the community to understand basically what drugs does and what. And uh, all I, can, I would like to say, in this country, sports brings people together. Sports brings people together. And through sports, we can advocate this. And uh, I know come uh, end of this tournament, all the teams will be happy that we have set our goal. And come next year, we may be bigger and better than this. And when you say equal playing field, are we also looking at equal prize money? Yes, uh, see, if you look at the, the trophy size, if you look at right here, 40 teams and 16 players, the trophy size is equal. Women's team, they're not paying any entry fees. We're giving $3,000 prize money. And all the teams, the six teams will be coming, regardless they place first, second, or two, six position, everybody will be winning the prize money. They'll be getting something at the end of the tournament. So the prize money is there for just play. And in between, we're going to support the teams in terms of players having bus fare, any time, uniforms, anything that they need. We're always there. We're doing that for them behind the scene, which is don't we say, but always there for the women's team to support in terms of futsal group development. Thank you so much, uh, you Alan much. Uh, Kumar, the tournament coordinator for the 2024 Rexona Business House Futsal Cup, which is coming up uh, on uh, February 27th. Stay tuned for our next guest. We were around when the deed was first signed. We were around when the first car engine roared. We were around when the very first was crowned. Through devastations, jubilant celebrations, and the milestones. We will continue to be around to bring you all the stories first. Welcome back. This is uh, segment two of the Time Spot, and we have uh, Ronil, the sales manager for Rexona, uh, the brand under Unilever International, distributed by Motibai Group. And he will talk about uh, the reasons why Rexona decided to sponsor the 2024 Bullet Business House Futsal Cup. Renil, welcome and it's great to have you here. Okay, thank you. So it says Rexona won't let you down. So we thought we would won't let uh, our Bula f 
futsal uh, tournament let down so this was a major sponsorship we have boosted it it's not only one of events we have uh, supported in fiji and it's like international and local events we do support in last eight years we are supporting it and we'll continue support like local events and international events like this it is like a great pleasure with the great brand we have with rexona it says won't let you down so i think with the great theme but ellen and the team has come up like like uh, drugs awareness of the drugs so don't let your family don't let your members be down so it's the brand and behind the theme won't let you down it's a good thing and i think and plus the good thing is the ladies are in there <laughs> so i think women should be given equal rights so yeah here we come we are given a chance to showcase them it's not why like, neglecting them okay you can't be here can't be there and the major thing is like the business uh, communities i think they should allow their members and the staffs to come and take a part in like the events like this which is hosted by non profit organization which is really really good thing so that's why we took our initiative and we became a major sponsor so rexona has been uh, the brand has been involved with uh, sports quite for, it's for, a, for a while now what di what difference are you trying to bring into communities in terms of sports and its reach it's a, it's not actually like a, it's a brand like it's a international brand which is a, a Unilever's international brand and which is distributed by multi by group of companies and which is like we can find it in every household goods it's a, and it protects you from body odor as well but in here we support in other teams okay we go play well and smell well that's what we can say but at the end is like some of some of the times there is a sponsorship issues most of the like most of the ideas are coming with the people they are not able to uh, host it so those are the things we want to host it and it's not only the local events and we have also team up with team fijis they going for pacific games rio olympic then it was solomon islands then hockey uh, hockey fives mm -hmm. that was just held in moscow we have supported a lot of lot of uh, other events as well with the rexona kit as well we have given to okay you are going out from your home Okay, maybe the f the first thing they forgot is their ears, their toothbrush, their toothpaste. But no, we giving them a each each athlete which has gone out of Fiji. We have supported with them the ears and the sprays. And you briefly mentioned your your support for women. You know, women's food still is still new, uh, so you know this sponsorship will help uh, you know boost boost the numbers that that we are looking for in Fiji. Yeah, actually, it was a good thing for us as well. Our team is also taking part, and we heard that five, five other teams are there. So maybe we can talk to our sponsors if there is many other teams can want to join us. Maybe there is a possibility we'll let them join in. But it's not the end; it's just a starting, and we'll keep supporting them where there there is a need for us. Ronald, do you have anything else to say in terms of futsal and? Uh, I think futsal is uh, is taking uh, like the men's they are taking to another level. Now we ladies are coming in, so it will be a great pleasure to witness them as a and uh, we are we are like we are pleased to be sponsored, like doing the sponsorship of a great event which is hosting in our country and giving the locals a talent. We can see our talents from the and from that local tournament there will be so many players will be selected and they will be representing our country and which is a great thing that they will say okay the the behind the scene it goes everything as Ellen and mentioned it's not only one thing so many things awareness of drugs play well it's like and uh, all the things are coming it's not only it's just a f big family members are coming in and networking the best thing is so many is more than thousand people will be there and just imagine the network they will build mm -hmm. the communication the talking style the learnings they the mistakes that they will be doing they will be learning so many good new ideas so many things will be in shared with amongst the thousand and plus people and the expectations normally yeah they will come and support families will be coming and supporting children will be actually enjoying it so it's giving a like encouragement for other generation to okay we go for it so yeah that's a good thing that we are we are ple pleasure to be a major sponsor for this Thank you so much, uh, Ranil, and we'll hear more about uh, yep. women's uh, participation in this tournament from uh, Representative Ulatolu Mbilitaki next. We were around when the deed was first signed. We were around when the first car engine roared. We were around when the very first was crowned. Through devastations, jubilant celebrations, and the milestones. We will continue to be around. 
to bring you all the stories first. Welcome back to Time Spot Segment 3, where we have uh, Avulatolu Mbilitaki, who is a women's representative and also a player for the upcoming 2024 Exonabula Business House uh, Futsal Cup. Vula, thank you so much for coming. It's, it's a pleasure to have you here. Thank uh, you. We'll just, just talk about uh, the tournament. Uh, we'll start off with your team. Uh, I know you've been part of it for, uh, for the past years, so just tell us what you're looking forward to uh, for this one. Uh, thank you. Uh, first of all, I wanted to say thank you so much for having me here. And uh, um, this year, we're, we're actually looking uh, forward to the um, like more competitions because usually we always just have like four teams competing in the uh, futsal tournament and uh, so this year we have two extra teams and uh, um, when we went for the launch last week we noticed that uh, like now uh, okay sorry like before we usually have like um, experienced players in two teams and it's not really fair for the other teams so for this year it's actually um, like equally divided um, which is good to see that uh, most of these business um, house that have come forward to be part of this tournament they have um, they have employed players like uh, soccer players mm -hmm. and uh, also they have uh, women that are into futsal now and we, which is actually a good thing and um, and I'm not gonna lie, we're also looking forward to winning again. <laughs> <laughs> but it won't be easy this yeah, time. Yeah, <laughs> but it won't be easy because we know there's gonna be a lot of competitions from the other five teams. Yes. And you know, apart from the increase in, in the number of teams, there's also increasing uh, the prize money, you know, which, which takes us to what, the, to what the tournament organizers are trying to do by having a level Yes. Yes. Uh, like uh, in previous years, I mean, I mean, like futsal, it started um, later in the 20th century, especially for the women's um, um, category. And uh, the years before, like we've always seen, uh, there's a lot of tournaments where they just have men's participating, and then you have the women's who, you know, we're just there to cheer the men on, and then. Um, and then we're like, when will we get the chance to also, you know, play and also share the same field as the men's? And uh, I think it was in uh, 2019, 2019 was when um, Bula Events, um, the director himself, he approached, he approached me and he was like, um, you know, um, we, we know each other from the West, by the way. And uh, he asked me if I uh, wanted to be part of the tournament and if I was willing to also get like, you know, like some more girls to be part of the tournament. It was uh, something that they were trying to do like trying to get uh, women to be part of this uh, to tournament and I was like okay said um, so how many teams you're looking forward to and then he was like oh, maybe four we'll start off with four and that's how it has been over the years uh, previous years and then like this year it's good to see that you know they got six teams um, this is actually good for uh, for, for us women eh? because mostly we're just like sitting in the office and just like you know behind the screens and then we hear our boys oh hey whatever you know like we <laughs> after work uh, we meet up uh, for training at 5 p.m so now it's actually good to hear women also messaging in uh, like in the group chats um where are we having training this afternoon and who's bringing the ball uh, you know like the excitement mm -hmm. eh? and, and which is really good to see yeah <laughs> so so it it brings in two things, um, you know, the exposure, yes. finding more talents, and of course, you know, living a healthy lifestyle yes. outside of that office workspace. Mm -mm. Um, and with this tournament, it also breaks the barriers for us women, uh, and you know, the discrimination, the stereotypes that all oh, like, you know, like women should have their own field to play mm -hmm. in, or okay, we'll just have the men's play at this time, and then the women's at the, you know, like maybe at a later date. But with uh, this. Uh, um, tournament, um, this futsal tournament, for, um, ever since um, Bula Events came up with this, it, it has never been like that. It's always, uh, when they started, it was at the um, the stadium opposite, I, I don't know, I don't call, remember the name of that court, but they'll have the men's playing in one court and the women's just beside them. Mm -hmm. And it's like so exciting to see that. And that's where men get this, uh, oh yeah, like women's do, they have, wow, they're so talented, this and that. and 
2019 up till last year, they've always had that. And once the tournament moved to the uh, FML gymnasium, the women will start the game and then followed by the men's uh, mm -hmm. games. And, and it's so cool because usually it's always the men who go first. But then now it's good to see that the women get to play first and then you have the men cheering them on. Because before it's always the women cheering the men, but now it's the <laughs> men cheering us on. Yeah, go! <laughs> and yeah. you get equal, I mean, equal, I mean, the fans get to equally watch, you know, both yes. the men and women yeah. play and in one location. Yeah, you know, and more spectators, eh? Because usually it's always men who are always getting a lot of uh, people watching them. And by the time we play, like, there's no one to watch us. Eh? And it <laughs> makes us feel sad. But, like, now it's good. Like, we, the women get to play. And, like, whoa, a lot of spectators come in and, like, oh, wow, this is this is a first to see. Mm. And it's a shame, though, like, they should have done this, like, a long time ago. Like, you know, like, other sporting uh, events. And, yeah, but I'm really happy. We're, we're actually happy that Mbula Events came up with this idea to have the women's play along the men. And just, just share your perspective on, uh, on the theme for this year, Stop Drugs and uh, Domestic Violence, if I'm correct. Okay. Um, to be honest, uh, most of the teams, uh, sorry, most of the players in the teams, they are victims of drug abuse and uh, domestic violence. And uh, with this tournament, it actually um, gets them out of that, that zone that, uh, oh, you know, like, only when we were in the zone with drugs that we get to be happy and you know like on cloud nine but um, women with those uh, victims participating in this uh, tournament like they won't have time for that like uh, and some are traumatized from the domestic violence and all that and uh, being part of uh, something new it actually breaks that um, uh, their normal routine for you know drug abuse and uh, I had a friend and uh, she was always abused at home because she was always at home and like she had nowhere to turn or nowhere to run to and then so I invited why don't you come in uh, you know train with us and you know play with us because she was always depressed and you know and uh, so she started coming and um, she would come like two times a week and then the following week she started coming every day for training mm -hmm. and um, then later on she uh, because she was abused at home like she turned to drugs but then once uh, w once she started uh, coming for training with us like she stopped she stopped hanging with the, the friends or that the circle that always pressured her into using drugs to get away from all the pain and you know from uh, being abused at home and uh, now she actually stopped completely and she's a really good player mm -hmm. yeah um, and she stopped using drugs completely and she's actually in a good place now I mean she's alive though yeah but in a good <laughs> place <laughs> she's happy and she's also playing for one of the teams in this tournament yeah. You know, uh, people call that the, the power of sport and yes. how it draws everybody together yes. and it's it's tournaments like this, you know, getting uh, the recognition mm -hmm. from brands like Rexona, giving, you know, prize money and recognizing women. Yeah. Um, you know, it pushes them to that space. Eh? And, you know, for someone who's been involved in futsal and um, 11 aside football yes. as well, uh, to see the growth and the eagerness from other women, you know, it must be a good, a good thing for you from your perspective as a player. Yeah, it, it, it is actually. Um, I've. Uh, um, like I used to work at this place and um, the men's were always, the guys were always, hey, Vula, when are you going to come for training? And, and I always felt bad for the other women in the, the company. And so I asked them, why don't you guys have one team? And they're like, yo, man, these guys are always uh, talking about this <laughs> and we don't even know what's happening. Eh? So last year, I got them to uh, be, you know, to participate in the tournament and uh, they actually loved it. Um, and uh, What's that uh, word of the uh, power of word of mouth? Or what's word of mouth? Word of mouth advertisement, or is it is that a thing? Like when you tell other people, tell somebody, and yeah, they tell other people. Worry. And then and then like uh, you know when you have a circle of friends that work it work for different companies, that actually uh, helps. Yeah, like. Um, 
so I'm telling my friends, man, you know, so this uh, company, like Bola Events, they having women's teams playing in the, uh, the futsal tournament. They're like, ah, Sechi, don't laugh. And they're like, yeah, for reals. And then they go on to tell their, their friends and their, you know, their managers as well. And then they're like, okay, if that makes them happy, you know, why aren't we registering our company, our women's, to be part of that tournament? And which is why Bula Events got six women's team to uh, be part of this tournament for this year. And, and it's really good. I really do hope that more women, um, you know, like come out of their comfort zone. Like futsal, like we can all start, you know, like baby steps. Like mm. you don't really have to be perfect to, or to know the sport to play futsal. Like anybody can play. Just bring your friends and you know, like it's just about kicking the ball and that adrenaline of just running to score. And with futsal, it's a fast paced game yeah? and it's flying subs. So you don't have five people playing full time. It's subs every one minute and it's a really good spot uh, like it makes you healthy and wakes up your you know wakes you up from your lazy mood mm -hmm. it's really good <laughs> and for women you know how we love to keep our skin and everything you know <laughs> yeah <laughs> so futsal <laughs> well we would love to hear more from you Thank and you, so uh, you know to see this futsal tournament uh, next week tuesday when it yeah. kicks off at the fmf gymnasium in uh, suva where 46 team 40 men's and six women's teams will be taking part mm -hmm. until next time my mother